What's up guys? Before we get started today, I want to give a big thanks to Squarespace for sponsoring today's video. I'll tell you a little bit more about what Squarespace has to offer later on. It kind of smells like a mix between really clean in here and a little bit of piss. That's right, Big Ken got really drunk and pissed in here last weekend. Alright you guys, today is the day. The long awaited day. It's been like three months, dude. Tiny is done. We're on our way over there to go pick it up. We'll see you over there. All right, guys, if you're new here, you probably have no idea who Tiny is. So Tiny's our monster truck. It's a Chevy Aveo body on a 1987 Toyota truck frame. We bought it for $3,000, painted it green, and then shortly after, blew the motor up in it, where it's been sitting in the shop for the past three months, getting a new Chevy small block put in it. It's funny to think that he said we would be picking it up a day early, but he drove it once and realized there were no brakes. <laughs> I missed you. That's a little bit bigger of a motor than I remember. Wow. Was it tight? Very. Yeah. I take it the headlights don't fit though? No. Yeah. The radiator is bigger. Okay. This is some custom fab work. Look at this. We even got park, reverse, neutral, drive, one, two, low, high, neutral, lock, unlock. Turn the engine power on. Engine power. Oh, I've always wanted one of these. I feel like I'm in a race car. Now push the button. Truthfully, now a mean green machine. Yeah. Because it sure sounds mean and it sure is green. Uh, holy smokes, man. You did an amazing job. <laughs> well, hopefully, it all holds together. Yeah, I was just going to ask that. That was my next question. What should we not do with this thing to make sure we don't break it again? I would say try to keep the wheels on the ground. Try to keep the wheels <laughs> on the ground. All right. How much horsepower do you think this thing has? Without all the emission stuff on it and the tune that the guys that did the thing they said three to 330. What do you think it had? When the motor was brand new, it had 88 horsepower. So if that bar was on its way out, so it probably had more like 50. So we'd say roughly about 250 horsepower gain here doing this swap. Is this even an LS? Yep, now it actually is an LS. <laughs> That's really funny that we put that on before and now we do have one in there. You say it was like the hardest thing, like one singular task. Getting the transmission and the engine all like hooked together because the transmission and the transfer case is out of a 73 pickup oh. and the engine's out of a 2002 and they do bolt together but there's just certain things you got to buy spacers and you got to do this and you got to do that to make it all fit together we could have never done this <laughs> that's why we got to take it to guys like brian <laughs> to drive this? I, I don't know. For a fact, I'm not. Yep, uh, I think she rips. Is terrifying. Is it actually? Jeez, bud. Why? I don't know. It's like you took a tiny car through a giant motor and it lifted it up like three feet taller than it's supposed to be, dude. And then you put eight year old mud bog tires on it that are not supposed to go above 15 miles per hour. <laughs> yeah, I think we need to probably get new tires, but that'll be the next video. Okay, Brian, don't be surprised if we come back with a smart car or two in a couple of weeks. <laughs> <laughs> Something tighter to work yeah. on. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Take up less room in your shop, at least. What? What are you guys? Flip the pickle over. What? What are you? What are you doing? Watching Rick and Morty. Flip the pickle, Morty. What do you mean? Right there. Look. What? Oh. Turn myself into a pickle, Morty. <laughs> I love this episode. Big reveal. I'm a pickle. Everyone hop in! Alright, all four of us are hopping in right now to test the overall sketchiness and awesomeness of this vehicle. Dude, gets me every time.
issue is, at least for this bit right now, we can't get it to lock in four wheel drive. As hard as I can hold it, we have to like cut this plate right. harder. So anyway, we're can struggling. Can I give it a try? Yeah, of course. Once we get this four wheel drive thing fixed and can get it all the way locked in, it is gonna be amazing. Woo! Oh, okay. oh my goodness! Easy, all day! All day. Yeah! Do it again, that was sick. That, I, I, I gotta see that again. Dude, you buy a mud truck and you start rock crawling. Now we're gonna have to buy a rock crawling truck and start mud. So basically, we don't have a whole lot of mud at the moment. Comment down below. Actually, hold on. If this video gets 50,000 likes, we will dig our own mud pit and, and make our own mud pit. Because we just don't have anywhere around here to really take this thing mudding. It's like we got this, this new engine in it. It's running great. But we can't actually test it to its peak potential. So we're just trying to find stuff on our land that we can take it on. Just ram it, bro. Those trees look like they need to be rammed. Yo, that's our bush mower. This is our lawn mower. <laughs> this tree was staring me down, man. Oh, shit. Give it a dirty look. Yeah! That's exactly what I wanted. Brief break in the video to tell you guys a little bit about our sponsor, Squarespace. Squarespace is an all-in-one platform that allows you to build a portfolio of your photography or graphic design in my case, but more importantly, it also is a platform to help you create a website. At this day and age, having a website for your brand is a must. And Squarespace makes it really easy to create a custom website that's unique to you and your brand to help you get started. So a while back, what well, feels like forever ago now, Seaboys TV needed a website. None of us knew how to code, we didn't have any money to pay someone to build us a website, so we turned to Squarespace, signed up, started chipping away at it, and before you knew it, SeaboysTV.com was born. After you signed up, the building process is made super simple. Pick what you're building a website for and what your top goals for your website are, and they'll provide you with a plug and play template to do so. No coding required. So once you find a template that works for you and your brand, the next step would be to populate your website, whether that be with portfolio pieces, or in our case, Seaboys TV merchandise. So I'm gonna go ahead and add a few products. Here is a sweatshirt and a t-shirt from the new drop. I'll upload the photos, get the inventory right, and boom, it's on your page and ready to go. Once you do start having visitors and making sales on your site, Squarespace provides you with options like analytics on just about everything, where people are buying from, what they're buying the most of, and even the abandoned cart rate. After getting your site looking good and filled with products, you need people to be able to find it. And that's when you're able to go through Squarespace to buy a domain for your website. So head on over to squarespace.com to start a free trial or hit the link in the description below or the top comment to save 10% off your first purchase of a website or domain using code SEABOYSTV. Back to the video. All right, I'm currently in Tiny. We're about to uh, go get some ice cream. Uh, can I get, let's see here. Uh, I'm feeding the whole fam tonight. Uh, let's see here. Can I get one? Hmm. Let's see here. Uh, can I get, uh, can I get one? Let's see here. Let's get a vanilla ice cream cone, the biggest one you can get. And then also, could I get uh, some, some gravy on the side? All right, that'll be it. See you up there. Large. Woo! That's everything? Have a good day, buddy. See you later.
Okay, so I'm sure some of you guys are wondering what the price breakdown of this build was. So most of the money was in labor, but we got a Chevy Vortec 5.3 engine coming out at $500. A transmission, uh, also from a Chevy, $200. So Brian picked these up super cheap. Yeah, dude, I cannot believe that. And then the rest of it was, you know, radiator, the exaust pipe, which is pretty sweet. We got two of them. And the, <laughs> two of them. And then, you know, some a new battery and uh, fluids and, and oil, and that's about it. So totaling out, this thing came out to be $3,500 for the build, which is like that's, Honestly, insanely that's cheap. insanely cheap. We were expecting to spend a lot that more. Was, that was some serious wizardry. I think, I think Brian really hooked it up. He really did. And he also found us some really good deals on parts. Yeah, I think that was the best part too, is that he picked all these parts up for like less than a grand. So uh, yeah, the thing just barks now. So, uh, it's a V8 True LS. And uh, what, what do we pay for this thing? Uh, we picked it up for three grand okay. last spring. So we're into this thing for what, 6,500 bucks yeah. if I'm correct? Yeah, not bad. I'd say this thing's like red shifter cart status now. It, I'd, I mean, I'd it's, agree. It's, it's our thing. It's one of a kind. It's definitely not the best mudding vehicle you can have it's definitely not the best rock crawling vehicle you can have but it's one of a kind it's kind of a it's kind of a frankenstein build and it honestly does a lot better than we ever expected it to so we're more than happy with it brian thank you so much you killed it on this we'll definitely have to do some more stuff in the future and it freaking barks <laughs> All right guys, so Ken has been working on wrapping his smart car for the past three weeks. And we actually tried filming it, but it took so long, it, we basically just gave up on it. So without further ado, I'm gonna show you quite possibly the best looking smart car on the road right now. I think you did a pretty good job at making a smart car look pretty cool. <laughs> I freaking love it, dude! It looks so good! This looks like if you lived in China and you're like, I'm gonna mod my car. If I, you see it in public, do not look closely. Like, don't even think about coming close to it because uh, there's some blemishes. Get out of here, get I, out of here. I there's some have, blemishes. I may have lost a couple parts and I've got, I've literally got a handful of screws that I don't know, oh, that's a GoPro one. I've got a handful <laughs> of screws that I don't know where they go, so. Dude, that just means you did a better job than stock. It looks like something you would see in like Tokyo Drift. Yeah, dude, it's like. Doesn't it? This is like. Park yeah, this is like fast and fierce. This is like the thing that the, the Asian chicks that are wearing like not enough clothes come in and drive. <laughs> and then they're just leaning, Dude, leaning on it like this. Dude, the hood is slippery. Bro, Ryan just yeeted himself. All right, guys, I gotta, I gotta end this video. My elbow hurts. We'll see you guys on Monday. All right, fellas, a uh, little bit of an announcement for you. So as many of you may know, we go to an event every year called Heydays on September 12th. And this year it was canceled due to the pandemic, but somebody stepped up to the plate and it's called WCDC Fall Motorsports Show and Swap. Kind of a mouthful. It's in Eagle River, Wisconsin. And we're gonna go to that this year instead. So that's September 12th, which is a Saturday, right, Mike? I think so. But we're gonna set the entire booth up, be taking pictures, signing autographs if you guys want. So selling merch and just come say what's up if you guys are in the area or not in the area you can drive it might be a good time so it's about four hours directly east of where the where heydays was so yeah if you're in the wisconsin area or able to make it you should come on out and meet us and say hi september 12th saturday wcdc fall motorcar show and swap eagle river. eagle river wisconsin all right we'll see you there what do you think it's crazy you like it Someone's gonna see this path through there and be like, who got hammered and started driving the mower? <laughs> <laughs>